How's everybody doing? <laughs> I have a good time. <laughs> thank you for uh, a, uh, a person donated. Uh, thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about, you know. Um, let me give you thank you. Uh, the person who has uh, donated. Um, where to the screams comes back up. And I will um uh show who it is. Uh let's go on our way. <laughs> um Lauren Williams Arness and Shanice O'Brien. Uh Angela Romano. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for valuing my content enough to donate. Thank you so much. Uh, now we're going to jump right in and talk about Aries. Aries rising. Now, those born with Aries rising uh, develop survivor skills and survival mechanisms early in their lives, you know, and these survival mechanisms fall along the lines of the principality of Aries, okay, they learn very quickly that they need to be bold, that they need to be driven, and that they need to be demanding in order to get what they want in life. Again, these are the three operatives. They have to be bold, self-driven, and demanding. Otherwise, they're not going to get what they want. And these are not good characteristics to have when we're dealing with uh, trying to communicate and harmonize and commune with another human being on a harmonious, amical basis. The opposite polarity of Aries is Libra. So, Libra, uh, Aries doesn't, doesn't seem to have a lot of tact. Aries doesn't seem to have a lot of tact. Those that have uh, Aries on the ascendant, okay? They have to be willing to figure things out as they go. In other words, they have to be self-reliant. They have to have an identity in the first place. If you're dealing with, uh, with a person with Aries rising and he doesn't know who he is, hasn't found himself yet, especially if he's below age 30, then there's still a lot of evolution that needs to occur for the person to be actualized and be able to um, run the world, as you may, the way he would like and the way he pleases. Aries and the Ascendant. Also, um, you have to understand that uh, whatever um, the Aryan person does, he does it with a lot of urgency. A lot of urgency. There's always a lot of urgency. There's never enough time for these men and women. You know? Uh, you have to understand that um, whatever they do, you know, they... Let me put it this way. When it comes to resources, uh, all of the cardinal signs have their own way of securing resources, okay? Wherever wherever Aries falls in the uh, birth chart is where your resources are. And to have Aries on the ascendant means that you are your own resource. If there was, let's say, an earthquake, and, and, and the sky is falling. Remember the, the story by Henny Penny? The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Well, the Aries man will, or woman will be the first one to seek shelter, find shelter, and will probably find shelter in the most unlikely places. Um, Aries is extremely resourceful. Uh, 
Even the Aryan person or the Aries person and the ascendant may not be in psychological awareness of just how resourceful he is or she is until they are called to action and they, they develop it from nowhere. Aries and the ascendant. Okay. So understand that um understand that this is really the uh, one of the basic building blocks of the Aryan psychology. They love children and are often very romantic too, you know? Uh talking about the good traits about them, you know? They also uh they can be very uh, interesting in other cultures. They love to study other people in other cultures. They love to travel to other countries and experience the same and even different religions. You know, they like to be self-made and thus they make excellent entrepreneurs. You know, the Aries man has a penchant for business, a natural predisposition for making money. You know, and they are, are hard workers and they trust in the progress that comes due to the labor. They are their own um, quarter riches. Now, the Aries man or the Aries woman, especially when you have Aries on the ascendant, these are power brokers. Power brokers. They, they set a goal, they set an aim, and God darn it, if they don't accomplish it, they accomplish their goals. They achieve it. But often, on the backs of many men and women that they trample on. Oh, it's not that they mean to. It's just that the fiery essence of the cardinality can burn through any layer. If you are to be successful as an Aries, you have to be willing to develop a couple of casualties along the way. And I look back and make no apologize and keep moving forward. It's very ruthless energy, but it's also necessary energy because without the boldness and impetuousness of Aries, nothing will get done. Now, the Aries moon, I was born with an Aries moon. The Aries moon is nothing like having Aries on the Ascendant, right? Uh, the moon, remember, is reactive. So when you have the moon in Aries, you're going to attract a lot of the emotional liabilities that's inherent with people born with Aries on the Ascendant or the sun sign Aries. You know, the baby! You know, these people may not handle or tame or control their passions uh, it usually gets better as they get older, usually past age 30. But even then, especially with the women, our happiness for these women comes late in life because there is an internal struggle with their own inner masculine which conflicts the masculine that they find when they're approaching and dating the opposite sex. Because like attracts like. And if a woman is difficult in the bedroom and she's difficult outside the bedroom and she attracts men equally as difficult, then that's a mirror reflection about who she is, concerning who she is. The Aries man or Aries woman with the uh, Aries and the Ascendant has to learn to embrace their opposite polarity, which is Libra. Everything has to be done in moderation and in balance. And this is a lesson that the Aries man or Aries Ascendant person learns very, very late in life. And, 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 and they shouldn't have to learn this late in life. Okay? Aries. I'm the ascendant. Okay? Now, let's discuss another aspect uh, uh, of the Aries man. The Aries man, when you have Aries on the Ascendant, he is romantic. Athletic looking, build, tall, lean, lanky, stoic. 
He comes in many shapes and sizes. But the body, physically, and the countenance of the body is quite strong. Now, these men usually enjoy being outdoorsy, playing in sports. But that's more of a generic description, even though we have found over the years in studying many subjects that the man with Aries on the ascendant or the woman with Aries on the ascendant is quite fond of travel. Para mañana. And the travels, like with Sagittarius, is inward. When you have Aries on the ascendant, you have a personality that is experienced. They're about getting the shit done. And then moving on. They don't want to linger and let things linger. No, 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 no. That's not them. They like excitement and pomposity and a little bit of dramatic flair in what they do. They want to be seen and recognized like per Perseus, Perseus or Pegasus. He wants to fall in love and can idealize and romanticize love. Aries and the Ascendant. Hmm. Okay, so understand that, having said that, the liabilities of the Aries man, or the man with Aries and the Ascendant, is that he's too impatient. Too impatient. Too radical. It kill him. You hear me now? It kill him to wait and be patient and have to be made to wait. Uh... The Aries man is very generous, very giving. But he is one of those men that cannot keep it in his pants. He represents the typical womanizer. Aries and the Ascendant. So, um, that, you know, they gently you know, drawn to very beautiful partners who, unlike them, seem to get away with much in life simply by being amicable, by being amiable. They like partners who are diplomatic and logical and, and can also balance their impulsiveness, their knee-jerk reactions. They can make excellent soldiers, firemen, sportsmen, sp spies, and firemen, anything that deals with physicality. Now, since they, are, since they may not fear combat, near-death experiences, and other such highly intense phenomena, these people are natural-born survivors. Mars and Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, now, they are sentimental at the same time, emotional, and their feelings can run deep down, you know, and they protect that emotional bed or field bed or landscape with a ferocity of an apex predator. They don't want any kind of violation or any kind of imposition upon them based on the fact that they might need this. They still don't want to be exposed that way. Yeah. So, I'm making a pause here. Uh, another thing uh, about the Aries personality or Aries on this one thing is that when it comes to the friends, oh my God, the camaraderie that may exist among friends and friendships with males <coughs> is unlike anything else that you can experience. The Aries man can be very communistic in his uh, approach to diversity 
whether it's in the form of religion or in the form of money or philosophy. He is highly educated and well trained, even though it seems mysterious to us where this young boy will learn all this stuff. He also has a template. And in this template, he can develop certain snakes that will feed his ego. But at the same time, um, he has um, basic, kind of like childlike needs. And these basic childlike needs are reflective of a soul who did not get, as a child, what he needed to survive. Besare tu boca. Yo nunca besare tu boca. Aries and the Ascendant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is cardinal fire. These people cannot stand still. It's about movement. Fire is about movement. And fire represents spirit. Aries and the Ascendant. Mm -hmm. Love my job. So, one of the characteristics of Aries on the Ascendant is a scar on the face or on the head or on the cranium. If you have uh, a lot of Aries, in a, uh, planets in Aries, in addition to Aries on the Ascendant, it's a possibility that you may have had a head trauma. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. I'm getting a call. Hold on. Oh, excuse me. Yes, you can. Uh, call me in a few minutes. As I am doing Alice video as of now. Okay, um, yes, yes, uh, you could have a scar. I know many people with Aries and the Ascendant with scars on their face, and it looks quite sexy. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't sexy upon receiving the scar, right? <laughs> but at least, you know, um, it's a signature of bravery or courage. You know, that's what marks a true Aryan. Because physical violence with knives and machetes and what have you is not something that's uh, surprising to the Aries man. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay. With Aries on the Ascendant, love, love for the man with Aries on the Ascendant is a quick, short-lived experience. Oh, yeah. The Aries rising man with Aries rising is a man that's predatory. Or at least he can be. A regular lady killer, lady slayer. He would tend to be in a relationship with a woman and then gingerly and slowly move around her. Because what he's doing is that he's making a compare and contrast between you and me. He's not just going to accept any nominee. He's going to scrutinize and he's going to probe. 
And this is something, whether we like it or not, that's inherent in those born with Mars and Scorpio. Yeah. Understand that, you know, there's a side to Aries that's very contemplative and very spiritual. And a lot is not discussed about that concerning Aries. Aries, what makes him so innocent and makes him so vulnerable at the same time is the fact that he knows the path of liberation is spiritual. But here comes the baby! Because Aries is beautifully innocent. He truly reflects the psychology of a child that doesn't know better. The femme fatale. You know, and you can't get mad at that. You can't get mad at that. There's something beautiful about innocence. It can make you nostalgic. It can make you nostalgic. But at the other side of the coin, when you have Aries on the ascendant, you are a phenomenal defender of humankind, uh, of, of human beauty. The trip, yeah, yeah. There's a form of a quandary here with the Aries Ascendant because if you acknowledge the beauty and the greatness that you are, that can lend you towards narcissism. But if you don't give acknowledgement of who you are, you're going to be treated basically the same or less. There's no upgrade. And because men of color who have sex with each other doesn't count, it kind of gives us... Uh, a picture. Now, I said that men that have sex with each other doesn't count. Well, it does count. And I had to mention that because my guys just threw that in there. And they're talking about, you know, circle jerks and public masturbations among boys, which happens with the Aries men. You know, these are the men that like to fuck one woman with ten guys or do a train, like they say. Or they're just jerking off watching, you know, a porno. You know? Uh, or they feel each other. You know, Aries is experimentation and to have Aries on the ascendant uh, lends to for a soul who likes to experiment and, and part of self uh, discovery requires self exploration so a lot of Aries uh, ascendant folk actually have a fascination with self exploration trying to find out who they are through the vehicles of sex or human sexuality. Aries and descending. I want to scream. The music is so good. Ah, I want to scream. <laughs> so, um... Understand that this is Aries on the Ascendant, basically. I have more information if you look at my Sun uh, Ascendant combination, and I go more into detail. So look at my site. It's half done. I'm going to complete the others, you know, piecemeal. <coughs> okay? Uh, excuse me. So having said that, uh, I hope you like my first introduction to Aries and the Ascendant. Uh, you know, Aries and the Ascendant, if you're Aries, is different if you're Aries and you're born with the Sun sign Taurus. It's different if you are a Gemini with Aries and the Ascendant. And I'm not going to do a series like that. I'm going to give you the generic. You're going to have to order a birth chart if you have Aries and the Ascendant. Or look what I wrote on my website to get some further information. Okay? Because it's just impossible to do a lot of that. 
please for a reading call 347-485-6258 for a birth chart is 250 and for a tarot reading is 150 an hour and you only need an hour and we're done with Aries and the Ascendant